Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome to Jim's 5am club. I'm coming to you from a very very uh, quiet and still morning here at Circular Quay. We've got the Borrowdale and the Alexander just sitting there ready with a supply in the background just waiting to kick off their day. It's overcast, it's the third day of summer there's a uh, easterly, gentle easterly breeze just keeping us uh, cool. The weather's about 22 degrees, but it's the third overcast day to kick off summer. So there you go, so much for summer here in Australia. I always harp on about it, but uh, what I love about Greece is that summer is summer. You know that uh, come summertime, you're going to get 92 days of sunshine, clear blue skies, and glorious weather. We've got the Sirius and the freshwater. For those who are not aware, uh, these uh, largest class of uh, ferries are going to be decommissioned next year. That's what the news is. And only one ferry, one of these large ferries will be kept in, uh, in schedule and it'll be the Collaroy. And this fresh water will probably be sunk somewhere off Sydney and become a dive site. So the fresh water the, um, and the two others, uh, so three of them, three out of the four will be sunk and only one will be kept for uh, maybe weekend work and they will be replaced by these other smaller ferries. So there'll be uh, smaller ferries doing multiple trips as opposed to bigger ferries doing uh, fewer trips. It's sad because the big ferries are just an icon of Sydney and have uh, basically been around for a very, very long time. Anyway, without further ado, what I'd like to do is just uh, kick off with another book summary. And today's book summary is a, an older style of book, and it's entitled Letters from the Self-Made Merchant to His Son. And it's written by George Lorimer. It's an unusual book, but then again, as I've said time, time and time and before, that uh, regardless of what you read, uh, from which genre and from which generation you do tend to pick up things that, uh, that may be useful. So uh, from this book here, I found it quite interesting actually. It's, a, it's an older style of book with an older style of writing, but uh, it has some pertinent, interesting messages. Um, I guess the book kicks off with a few pieces of advice uh, from a father, from a businessman to their son. And uh, each generation, as we said, has uh, a treasure trove of uh, knowledge, wisdom and learnings that uh, get lost uh, over the years. But uh, here are a few timeless pieces of advice that um, we can all learn from and, uh, and incorporate into our inventory of skills and knowledge. So the, the, the first piece of advice is from the book is to be enthusiastic. And it's so important, that's such an important piece of advice to be enthusiastic. Because what I've learned over the years is that uh, Enthusiasm is uh, infectious, it, uh, it fires you up, it gets you motivated, it gets you going and it makes you uh, or gets you prepared to uh, get the most out of every opportunity because enthusiasm is an energy, is an energy level which uh, has some magic and spark about it and there's nothing better than uh, greeting somebody enthusiastically 
rather than just uh, acknowledge them with a nod or just a relaxed style. Um, being enthusiastic is something which is, is most welcomed, especially in cultures, uh, in various cultures. You know, there are cultural aspects that uh, forbid over enthusiasm or over enthusiasm but I always love I love being with and uh, and hanging out with people who are enthusiastic people who look forward to seeing you look forward to doing things with you it just uh, is a wonderful sort of energy uh, the other advice that he talks about here is that you can trust a woman's taste in everything except men <laughs> how true is that you know it never ceases to amaze me to uh to see uh women's taste in men men um you know you think uh sometimes the way they talk the way they uh they hold themselves that uh their taste would be you know in a particular way and then all of a sudden, you know, you see who they hang, you know, hang out with and who they end up with. And then you scratch your head and say, well, how did that come about? So uh, that's a funny one. You can trust a woman's taste in everything except men. It's funny how women um, tend to, to like the bad boy. And, uh, and, and you know that it's going to end up in tears. Yeah, but uh, as, I, as I said, you just scratch your head. The third one is a beauty as well. The fellow who can't take orders, can't give them. I learned years ago in my martial arts career that uh, in order to be a great leader, in order to be a, uh, a, a, a top performer, in order to... Um, a black belt you need to take orders you need to be one who is able to understand and grow and to be a follower because a good follower uh, a dedicated student will end up becoming a great leader with other students who will uh, dedicate themselves to them so it's a, it's, a, it's, a lead, it's a follow lead, follow lead sort of scenario. And it's a dance. Life is a dance of um, you know, leading and following, leading and following. You know, you just don't wake up one day and are a leader. You need to, to follow a path. You need to learn skills. You need to build your confidence and competence. And once you build those, then you can, uh, you can take over the reins when the time is right and uh, a great leader will always build great leaders around them so if you're with people who are confident competent in what they do and generous then they will build you they will build you up and enable you to uh, grow develop and uh, take wing uh, the next one uh, never put off being happy to tomorrow. This is also a wonderful piece of advice. You know, you, uh, you've got to find happiness. You've got to find purpose. You've got to find meaning in the now. You know, I often wonder when I hear people talk about, oh, you know, I'll, I'll be happy when when this happens or I'll be happy if I do this or I need to go to I need to go to Greece to find happiness or I need to do this or have that happiness is found in every moment in every place you just need to have the right attitude and the right uh, and the right um, um, you know, right perspective I guess is the word that I'm looking for because with the, uh, the right perspective and the right attitude um, you'll find peace harmony and happiness everywhere you everywhere you look and everywhere you walk 
And uh, as we know, and we've said time and time again, tomorrow never comes. So if you're waiting for tomorrow to find your happiness, um, then you'll never get there basically. So the advice is just do it now. Find happiness now. Find a reason to be happy and uh, be the source of joy to yourself, to your family, your friends, and give yourself permission to be happy. You know, don't wait for other people to give you that permission because uh, unless they're very, very generous, then they're just going to be uh, uh, oppressing you and uh, taking away from you any opportunity for joy. The next piece of advice that the father gives or the merchant gives his son is to adjust your spending to your earning. Now you just can't build wealth. You can't get propelled and build a nest egg if you're spending more than what you're earning. It's that bloody simple. But uh, you see a lot of people, they just uh, can't wait. They can't wait to get that fantastic car. They can't wait to get the, uh, the expensive cap or those shoes or those clothes or go on that holiday time and time again to the same old loca location or just to, to travel the world, blowing all their money and uh, never getting enough money um, collected for a deposit. To, uh, to buy a house or to buy a, an asset which, is, uh, which will appreciate over time. Um, it's important to have a balance, of course, but the balance needs to be in the right sequence. You need the right um, sequential sequence and uh, to be able to, to build your future. So you need to work hard. You need to invest early. You need to uh, uh, make sure that you've covered. Now you've built your education, you've built your investments, you've uh, formed your networks before you just become a rebel and start enjoying life and, uh, and blowing all your cash. The other piece of advice is don't do it just because everyone else does it. That's another awesome piece of advice. Now you need to, uh, to uh, march to the beat of your own drum. You need to do the things in your life which are aligned to your values, your goals, your dreams, and not just to do things because everybody else does them. Because uh, you know, depend on, depending on who you're hanging out with, depending on uh, what community, what culture you're involved with, um, uh, there are certain disciplines that you need to follow in order to, uh, to be connected, stay connected and be part of a, a social circle and, uh, and, and a group and you need to observe those things and uh, on the one hand but you also need to align and do the things which are right for you as well. So by all means do what everybody else does if everybody around you is is a high performer, a high achiever, has similar sort of goals, values. But if, uh, if you're hanging around with people who uh, may have um, um, different sort of uh, views of life, which may uh, lead you down the garden path and, and leave you stranded, then by all means be extremely dis discerning is what the father's saying to his son and to, uh, and to, um, now feather your nest and make sure that you're doing the right thing by you before you start becoming uh, obliging and uh, submiss submissive to those around you. The next piece of advice is to clear your mind and start afresh daily. Wonderful advice. Every single day is a fresh start, a new start, an opportunity to uh, commence a new life with new opportunities, with the freshness of uh, a clean slate. So, uh, and that's why we get an opportunity to sleep. 
uh, to, uh, to refresh ourselves, to uh, recuperate and to start a, a new day with, uh, with the freshness and clarity of mind. The next piece of advice is the fun is in the run and not in the finish. So it's basically all about enjoying the journey in life not taking yourself, not taking life too seriously and making the most of uh, whatever happens. Now learn to surf. Now there are days where the waves will be pounding. There will be days where the, where the waves or the ocean will be flat. There will be sunny days, there will be overcast days, there will be windy days, there will be um, still days. Now the beautiful, the beautiful thing about life is its variety but uh, you need to be able to adjust to make the most of that variety and not to be stiff and, uh, and, too, um, and too set in your ways. Uh, as we said, learn to surf. Learn to surf, learn to swim, learn to jump, learn to hop. Learn to do whatever you need to do to get through the day and make the most of the opportunities as and when they present themselves. And the last piece of advice is to uh, never marry a poor girl that is raised rich. So once again, it all gets back to uh, marriage, to uh, who you select or who you're fortunate enough to have as a partner in your life. And it's basically advice suggesting that, you know, look for somebody who's going to be a partner in your growth and development and not somebody who's going to uh, have values, goals, dreams, which uh, don't support um, uh, your capabilities and your abilities so that you are uh, you find somebody who you're suited to and um, and as my father always used to tell me is that you need to find somebody to come into your life who is compatible in more areas than just the bedroom to have somebody who's compatible with your family with your friends with your goals with your values with your religion um, and that you're also compatible with their um, religion, values, family, goals, dreams, uh, work ethic and all of those things. Uh, the last thing you want to be doing is to, uh, to marry up or to spend the best days of your life with somebody who doesn't share your values, your dreams and all of those things because you're constantly going to be in conflict and you're constantly going to feel um, uh, unfulfilled, unempty and instead of working together you're going to be working against each other which is not going to be productive and it's going to end up in, uh, in, in tears and pain. So, I don't know if, how much you enjoyed that but I always, as I've said, I always enjoy reading, I always enjoy learning, and most importantly, I love applying the things that I learn or reflecting on them with my life and to hopefully help, uh, pass it on to others to uh, mull over, to think about and to uh, consider. Anyway, let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I'm well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly, let's uh, take some advice from this older style book, Letters from the Self-Made Merchant to his son, George Lorimer, and see what we can use and what we can apply in our lives and to uh, start this day as a new day, make the most, making the most of 
the opportunities as and when they arise and to uh, enjoy enjoy this overcast slightly breezy day and uh, see where it takes us yasas take care from jim's 5am club and i look forward to coming to you again tomorrow from another location with another message of empowerment of strength of knowledge of wisdom that we can all use and share with uh, our friends, family, and whoever we touch on a daily basis. Yasas, once again, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now and thank you. From Jim on Jim's 5am Club. Bye.